it finds in human and mouse, the mouse testicular receptor are in human and mouse bodies. And TR2 open receptor belongs to the family of period and period hormone receptors 1, 2. And it also finds a place important roles in the control of several pathways, including return exit, vitamin B, period hormone, and ciliary neurotrophic factor. And in my research project, different labs have been performed as such as primary design polymerase chase reaction with the PCR machine, allegorous gelatinous process, DNA purification, ligation, transformation, and the bacterial lysis. First of all, I will talk about the primer design. Primers are things that will stick onto the DNA strand and to let the enzyme to know which site the enzymes are going to clone about the DNA. And the primers were designed based on the sequence from Young and L, 1998. The table below shows the primers that we have designed the sense and the anti-sense part. And there are two and there are two restrictional sites. This one and this one, the underlying part. Are were introduced in the five parts and of the sense and anti-sense primer respectively to facilitate the subsequent ligation with the protein extraction vector in further research, that is to ligate in the vector. And then the next step after the primer design is PCR cloning with the PCR machine. PCR cloning is to put PCR mix in the PCR machine to do the PCR cloning and the mix with these materials, PCR water, 10 times high polarity PCR buffer, etc. And the reverse transcriptase, RT, is the test of mouse. And the table other, and the table below shows the conditions of the cloning. This 15 degrees Celsius is the annealing temperature for the primers to stay on the DNA strand. And next steps of the PCR cloning, we have to ensure that the size of the PCR product is what we need. And so there will be a liberal sterile process performed. As I talk about, this is to check the PCR reaction has been successful. And in the liberal sterile process, the product from Previous PCR and 1 kb molecular marker were loaded onto 1.2% allegorous gel and ran in the TBE buffer. And the DB and DNA bands were visualized with the DBM bromides, which is carcinogenic stain, which gave neutrogenous basis pinkish orange under the UV light. And now I will show the result of the DNA allegorous gel electrophoresis. There is a weak band showed below, a little white band. And this is a PCR product, which is possibly the gene of the interest at it has about between 1,500 base pairs to 2,000 base pairs, which is 1,773 base pairs. And there should be a DNA sequencing performed in the research program as to ensure and confirm the authenticity of the gene. And after that, we have to do the DNA purification to ligate the DNA onto the vector. Firstly, to prepare the DNA to do the next steps. And the oligomer shell containing the DNA band was dissolved at 55 degrees Celsius with TBE modified and now. And DNA was subsequently extracted using EZ glass milk and finally resuspended in the TE buffer. And this is the last step of my research pro program, research project, which is ligation, transformation, and bacterial lysis. And the Purified DNA was then ligated with the PG EMT easy factor followed by transformed into the JM109 component E. coli cell, which is the DNA plasmid, 
will be put into the JM109 cell by using a transformation method, his shot. And transformed cells were spread on every place with ampicillins for blue-white color section. Blue-white color section is on factors, there are something when we successfully ligate the DNA onto the plasmid, it will break the thing and it can't show the blue. And we can know the white color is the target DNA that we need to ligate onto the plasmid. And only white colonies are picked for subsequent bacterial culture. And here comes the discussion and conclusion. As I say, there should be a DNA sequencing be performed to ensure the target, the PCR product is what we need. But then there is a lack of time. But then I have shown the picture of the weak bank of our PCR product. And it is because it is really difficult to design the primers. Seeing we have to design the primer base pair on the two links of sequence of mouse TR2 gene. And the resulting primer pair with annealing temperature is not suitable for PCR reaction when estimated in the gene calculator. And there are more factors that we have to consider in designing the primers. And here it comes to the end. I especially thank to Dr. An Lau of Faculty Science at the University of Hong Kong, Professor Willie for landing the lab and for us to use the facilities. And Dr. Wing Yilu and Connie Siat Swan for giving me advice. And also my biology teacher and my friend here to support me to do this presentation. Thank you. Uh, so any questions you would like to ask or interest in my project?